Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the transit moon making a square opposition or in conjunct aspect to one's natal black moon Lilith. Now, when we're talking about transits that involve the moon in astrology, they could be about emotions or feelings, needs, uh, sensitivity, reactions, responses, even the public. Now, when the transit uh, moon is basically making an adverse aspect to one's natal black moon oil as well. Uh, this may manifest in the emotions, um, the feelings, the uh, needs, uh, responses, reactions, uh, sensitivity, even the public. Well, this may con conflict really with the uh, the negative manifestation of the sign. Remember, the black moon oil can reflect the very negative uh, energy that is expressed uh, by the sign it's in. And it could be where you know, something could happen with, as far as you know, public when you're out and out and bound in stores or what have you, where maybe there is some, could be a situation where you might have um, somebody is taken aback by the negative energy that's being expressed of that sign. Um, say, if there's, um, you have a black moon in Scorpio in your natal chart, it could be something vengeful or vindictive side or very caustic uh, type of uh, type of energy or um, it could be you know if your black moon wolf is in Leo in your chart it could be you know, an arrogance or something that's very overbearing or egotistical or conceited showy uh, energy that may be coming out uh, you know Aries could be very pushy abrupt, outspoken, even combative. Now, the thing about this transit, though, is keep in mind that this transit only, I mean, it's not going to last very long. It only lasts about 10 uh, hours on average. And because, uh, keep in mind, that if you're using a three-degree applying aspect and a two-degree separating aspect, okay, that's five degrees total. And the moon moves about one degree every two hours. So you're looking at... 10 hours roughly they, these transits don't happen i mean they don't last for a very long duration but they are fairly frequent because uh, i would say very frequent actually because you're gonna get about five of them every month keep in mind that it takes the moon less than 30 days um, to traverse all 12 zodiac signs so you I mean you're looking at you know five a month about of these transits you're going to have two squares you're going to have two in conjunct aspects and one opposition. Um, they're not overly significant, but I mean, in a lot of instances, too, you're going to be asleep during this transit, or for at least for part of the transit anyway. But they still can have some impact. But anyway, um, the thing about Black Moon Wolf is also connected with the form and what could be a formidable adversary. And the thing about it is you might be more sensitive to these to issues surrounding an open enemy at this time. Um, you know, it could be, you know, say, if this is our more emotional about a powerful adversary at this time. And, and say, if this is, uh, you know, the Black Moon Wolves is in Gemini in your natal chart, it could be you know, somebody... That could be a Gemini sun moon or ascendant person or simply embody Gemini characteristics. Could be somebody very mercurial or somebody that might have plagiarized your work or somebody that's gossiping and slandering you or doing things that are mischievous to you um, that are you know, causing some kind of you know, anguish or upsetment. Uh, it could also be, I mean, Black Moon World is also connected you know, with trauma and abuse. So it can be a situation for some where they may have a harder time dealing with it could be emotional abuse or some kind of trauma. It could even be physical trauma that they may have, someone may be experiencing that they're simply more emotional about and they might have a harder time in responding to it at this point in time. Remember the moon is also connected. It's connected with our reactions and responses. And, uh, the thing about uh, this is, and especially say if you have like Scorpio and or the 8th house involved, it could be something like emotional, really strong emotional, psychological, so, you know, I should say more psychological abuse, emotional manipulation, you know, is some, it's an example. Um, 
Now, the Black Moon Month is also connected with a very strong erotic uh, sexual energy. It can be very uninhibited sexual energy. And going back to, um, I mean, say, you know, the Black Moon Month, the Native Black Moon Month is in Gemini as an example. You know, your Black Moon Month in Gemini could be a very strong attraction, attraction to younger people, um, maybe more than one partner. Um, it can be a situation though where you might not be feeling like expressing that uh, erotic sexual energy at this time because the moon of course is connected with our mood our temperament how we feel um now it also too um as stated before the black moons can be connected with a very powerful adversary but it could also be somebody that might figure provocatively in your life scheme a person that plays a prominent role in your life and the thing is it could be a situation where you know, the, um, where this person, you might not really feel like dealing with this person right now. Uh, it could be a situation where somebody, it could be a home family member, could be the mother, maybe a prominent female in your life, someone you're close to home with may not agree, maybe with your connection with this particular person for uh, whatever reason. It, um, I mean, say if your natal black moon is this in Capricorn, it could be maybe a person that you know, they may see as looking after their own interests, or a person that's overly cold or callous or undemonstrative or very unfeeling. Um, it could also be a thing, too, with this, um, with this transit that, remember that black moon could also be connected with death. So if you're mourning uh, somebody that has passed away, it could be a situation where you might be emotional about it. You might have a hard time coping with it at this point in time. You may be more sensitive to it uh, than usual. And the Black Moon Wolf is also associated with suffering as well. So, you know, if you're trying to deal, you know, again, going back to death or even just suffering for another reason, like the emotional suffering for something else or whether it's physical or emotional, it might be where your your home, your family, the mother, prominent female in your life, someone you're close to home with, just might not be around for that kind of support to give you at this time. And the thing is, um, Black Moon World is also connected with obsession and fixation. So it could be a time where when you look at this, it may be, you know, again, it might be a home or family member. You know, maybe a person that might not be in agreement with something you're obsessed with, or maybe this obsession may be doing something that is conflicting with your home life at this time. Say, if a black moon of Natalie is an Aquarius, it might be something with the internet or computers, or doing something with electronics, astronomy, or astrology at this time. It might be conflicting with your home, your family life. Uh, and the Black Moon Wolf is also associated with what we don't want unveiled. So if something were to come out you know, that you were trying to keep in the closet, basically, you want it concealed and suppressed, but, you know, it may come out. It could be a time where you could be more emotional about it, more so uh, than usual. You know, it might be a side to you that might be more upsetting, you know, than, than ordinarily. Um... You know, say if you're a natal black moon with a Taurus, it could be, you know, maybe a greedy or avaricious side that you really didn't want to come out. Um, now, another way this could manifest and pan out could be, in some cases, it could be a family member or a mother. Now, a mother, as an example, may be averse to that dark side of your black moon placement that you express. Now, going back to the zodiac sign Taurus, let's say that the natal black moon world is in Taurus. It could be an avaricious or greedy side, or maybe uh, it could be about not following through on monetary promises, maybe lack of persistence in situations. Um, it could be that a home or family member, or someone you're close to home with, may be really adverse to it at this time. Hold on.
sorry about that, I'm back. But anyway, now the moon is also associated with our past, you know, past memories. Now, in some cases, this transit may be expressed in past memories that may impede you, or at the time may be prohibiting you from maybe embracing the higher level of the place. So remember, the Black Moon Oath has a lot of negative to it, but you can also, I mean, there's also some positive connected with it. It can be where you are, uh, if you can embrace that higher level of the place, express the positive energy, it can be very good. Now, say if the transit, you know, Moon is in Scorpio as an example, it could be maybe there might be memories connected with power or control issues, um, and maybe where you feel you don't have the power or even willpower to even do so at this time. Now, again, the, uh, the moon can be associated with our reactions and responses. So another way this may manifest, perhaps it could be more difficulty in responding to somebody that is playing a prominent role in your life at this time. Now, say um, if the natal black moon oath is in Gemini as an example. It could be a Gemini sun, moon, or a senate person, or simply one that embodies Gemini characteristics. It could be somebody that's very restless, mercurial, multifaceted, uh, maybe even dual nature, somebody very fickle and vacillating and changeable and versatile. You may be um, more sensitive at this time to an abusive situation, whether it's physical or emotional or psychological. Say if you have um, the Black Moon Loth on Italy and Aquarius in, in the 8th house in your middle chart, perhaps it could be like cyber or internet bullying. Uh, Aquarius could be connected with the cyber world, the internet. I would say the 8th house is associated with bullying because it's connected with co coercion and intimidation. And uh, also, too, um, if there's any issues like with the moon related, something with the stomach, the chest, the breast, water retention, the left or right eye, depending on gender, um, it might be causing more exasperation at this time. It might be more, you know, anguish. Maybe there's more suffering in connection with this uh, than usual. Anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Learner saying stay well.